What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walker right here on our Gym Leader Draven channel. And, uh, okay, alrighty, so we finally made it to Fuchsia City after a long, 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 and I mean long, adventure. I think it was like a three-parter, I don't know. Probably was, yeah. So, after three long episodes, we made it to Fuchsia City, and, uh, yeah, we are here to explore just a few things about Fuchsia City. Now, before we go any further, there has been a few things that I needed to talk about, especially, uh, the content of the game. Um, so, uh, you know, many of you guys already know that I, what, I was doing this on the 3DS, but unfortunately there has been some, I don't know, there's been some things that's been going on on my 3DS, especially with the internet on the Cat, Kit Kat Slim for just to stream it on there. And, uh, I don't know, I don't think I can turn it on or anything like that, so it's forced me to go to a visual, uh, VBA to do this whole walkthrough on VBA. Don't worry, guys, I have all the Pokemon right here, and, and the funny thing about this is I do have the VBA that can trade Pokemon from game to game, so don't worry, guys, it's the same thing, it's just a little bit different from right now. The Pokemon are still in the same levels, as you can see, look at that, Tangled, Psycho, Godzilla, Sparky, Thrasher and Hydra. Everybody has it's the same old thing right here. That was my news right there. Sorry about it, guys. Sorry if it took me quite a while to get this all out, but nonetheless, we're gonna continue on right here on our adventure. Same old, same old thing. We're gonna do the same old everything, especially for Pokemon Crystal, Emerald, and everything else. So, moving on right here, Pokemon uh, Yellow's version of Fuchsia City is pretty much the same, except for what's down below, which we will be getting to. A little bit later, but as you can see, Fuchsia City. Fuchsia, as always, the Safari Zone home warden, or the, the warden's home. You go in here, he is going to be a little weird with you. He's like, a warden. And I don't even know what he's saying, so I'm just going to be like, okay. I don't even know what he's saying, but I'm assuming it has something to do with his gold teeth, right? He's got some gold teeth. I'm gonna walk away from that situation for right now, and I'm gonna go right here because this guy, he's like, hmm, I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like the fish? Heck yes, I do. Grand, I like your style. Take this uh, and fish, young one. Draven has received the good rod, which is, well, it's not a step up from the super rod. It's just, you know, it will get you different kinds of Pokemon. And yes, you can fish around here. Uh, whatever different types of Pokemon you can find, find them right here. I already have my team set as it is. So uh, let's move on right here. Um, okay, so what else is there to do right here in Fuchsia City? Of course, we don't have our Dubasaur anymore because he has cut. And... Right here, Pokemon Paradise Safari Zone. This is not the Safari Zone, this is just, you know, I guess a place. I don't know what it is. I think it's like what? Oh, Slowpoke is a very knowledgeable, uh, very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of rare extinct Pokemon. Wait, who? Oh, he's talking about the Pokemon Warden. I was like, the Slowpoke? Seriously? It's like we nicknamed the Warden Slowpoke. He and Slowpoke have a. Come on, I didn't read that. I didn't read that well. Slowpoke have a look vacant. Oh. Hey, come on, man. He's old. Leave him alone. Slowpoke came in, but I couldn't understand him. I think he's got a he's got a speech problem. Oh, he's missing his gold teeth. That's pretty much what it is. I don't know. I could be wrong. And what does it say right here? Oh, Fuchsia City. Behold, it's Passion and Pink. Okay. All right. And it's like, where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here. I think Sarah's the lady that gave me the HMO2. I don't know. Nickname, Slowpoke. Friendly and very slow moving. Oh, okay. So, right here, you can add some pages onto your Pokedex. Very good. And, oh, look at that, it's a Chansey. Chansey! Catching one is all up to chance. Which it's true, because Chansey is a very, very difficult Pokemon to both find and capture. Here we have a Voltorb, very image of a Pokeball. Look at that. Can't even say it, but yeah, Voltorb is a Pokeball. This guy right here is like, that's, that, that item ball is a, is there, is it really a Pokemon? It is. It's kind of funny. Now, let's see, right here. Oh yeah. Nickname, or name, Lapras, a aka the King of the Seas. Look at that. Lapras. This is a pretty cool Pokemon, very rare Pokemon. 
Now, the other Pokemon that you will find up here, it will vary from, or it, it will actually uh, vary from the fossil that you chose. Um, if you choose, if you choose the Helix fossil, the Dome fossil will be featured right here on Future City. If you choose the Dome fossil, the Helix fossil will be featured here. I think I chose the Helix. So right here, you will actually see Kabuto, a Pokemon that was resurrected from a fossil. So as you can see, Kabuto right there, pretty cool. And the last Pokemon right here is Kangaskhan, the eternal Pokemon that raises its young in its pouch and its belly. Look at that. Parent Pokemon. Very good Pokemon right there. And here is the Safari game Pokemon you catch. So we're not going to just stop right here and just, you know, a small, a small visit on uh, Safari Zone. Okay, so that was a little bit weird. It was a little cut off right there. But like I was saying, yeah, we're not going to just stop right here eh, just to visit uh, Fuchsia City. We're actually going to go into the Safari Zone and take care of a little business because there is business to take care of right here. So let's go right here. You probably already know Safari Zone is a uh, Pokemon catching game. It only costs 500 bucks to catch all the Pokemon that you want. And yeah, I would actually like to go in there right now. Now the only thing is... We only get safaris, uh, safari balls, we can't battle the Pokemon, and the other thing too here that really bugs me is the amount of steps you take. You got 500 steps to go around this whole area. Once you run out of the 500 steps, you have to go back. If you run out of Pokeballs, you go back. You can also retire, I think. Yeah, you can just go in through this door. Now, what we're going to do right here is we're actually not, well, we might capture Pokemon here and there, but we're actually going to go go through this whole thing and try and find the HMO3 surf because that is actually a thing in here so going through let's see area number two and okay right here I'm gonna go well there are a few items here just be careful about the amount of stuff that you carry um, yeah, I'm gonna try and capture a Cuban because I think you can evolve or you can get a uh, Macho out of this, and look at that. First try, get ourselves a Cubone. Look at that. The lonely Pokemon. Where's a skull of it? It's deceased mother. It cries echo into, or it cries echoes inside the skull. Come out as a sad melody. Oh wow. Cubone is just a sad, sad Pokemon. Sad, sad Pokemon. Okay. So like I said, there was a few items right here that you can get. Just be aware of how many items you do have. Found ourselves a Carbos, which I will be using for. I will be using for Snorlax because it is the slowest Pokemon we have. And alrighty, going down here. And you know, when I used to play this game as a younger kid, I used to trick the crap out of my brother with this. He loved watching Pokemon Evolutions, and hearing this, he would just, you know, let me see, let me see, and I would never let him see. But then afterwards, I would. Show him that. <laughs> look at that. No, I'm in the Safari Zone. And wow, look at that. We cut ourselves an Execute. It's another cool Pokemon that we have. The heads attract each other and spin around. There must be at least six heads. It, it's maintain the balance. To maintain its balance. Oh, wow. Okay, it's a good Pokemon to actually have on your team. And TM37, that would have to, that would have to be what? Seed Bomb? Coconut Bomb? Or something like that? Yeah, it's probably... No, it's not Seed Bomb. It's a... Uh, a move specifically for execute, ironically, and oh, it's Egg Bomb, so you can actually teach a Chansey or execute that. And look at that, we found ourselves our first full restore. I am not going into those houses because really they, they mean nothing at all. And what kind of Pokemon will we find here? It's a Need Arena. We already got that, don't need it. I just got lucky with I'm two for two. Oh, crud, I forgot about that item. I'll get it later. Okay, so, um, there's another area right there, which I shouldn't be visiting because I have to conserve how many steps I take right here, and I'm going up here, and, you know, I wish I had the surf attack right now, it would have helped just to go and get past this area. Okay, I'm not capturing you, you're, you're okay, you're decent, but... I'm not catching you. And here we have another item. TM40. Uh, what? Let's 
what move is that? And we're almost, we're like, we're halfway done with our steps. Skull Bash. Okay, so that's another good move. It's a two-parter move, which I don't think I'm going to be teaching any of my Pokemon, especially right now. And here we have a Protein, which I will give to my Sparky, because he is the only Pokemon that will not evolve in this game. So, yeah. That's kind of sad. Oh, God. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, a neat arena. That's cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't want to battle you. Oh, I can't battle you. Man, it would be easier if we were, if we were to battle the Pokemon right here because, you know, make things funner, I guess. I don't know. Shoot. And here we are in the last room, the ex actually the, uh, the room that we need to be in. We found the gold teeth, which is pretty good. And here we have a TM32, which will be what? What will it be? TM32. Double team. Okay, so it's another good evasion move, which we probably won't be teaching any of the Pokemon. And if you come in here, talk to this gentleman, he's like, ah, finally! You're the first person to reach the secret house! I was getting worried that no one would ever file a winner campaign prize! Congratulations, you have won. You don't have room for this, wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to get rid of something here. Um, Max Potion. Um, yeah, you know what, let's get rid of the antidote. I'll buy it, I'll buy it soon. Okay, so get rid of that. And going back to the, what he says, I think he's programmed to say this, and congratulations, you have won! We have received the HMO3, which is very, very good. Now, um, I think I have to go some, like, I'm, I'm just gonna waste the steps and try and capture some Pokemon. Right now, you can't do anything. You can't use the Surf Attack because, you can't use the Surf Attack because you don't have the Fuchsia City Gym Badge. So, let's see, what should I, oh, you know what, I'm gonna use the Super Rod right now. I think you can capture some cool Pokemon right here. Let's see. Good Rod, Super Rod. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try both of these, see what I can find. If I can find a pretty cool Pokemon, then you know what, I'll try and capture it, you know. Trying to collect that Pokedex, uh, the, oh, well. Wow. A Magikarp. It's not like I've never captured that before. <sighs> okay, let's try this one more time. If I find another Magikarp, I swear to God, I swear to baby Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna get angry. And what do we have? What do we have? Come on! Oh god, another magic card. Okay, so it's a level five. Ma oh god, never mind. I'm I'm going away. I'm gonna waste the steps. I'm I'm gonna try and find Pokemon. I want to battle Pokemon. I want to win. Found another Cubone. Uh, you know what? Let's. Let's capture another one, you know, for our collection, because there's going to be one that's going to be traded, and this guy right here has escaped. So I'm going to throw some bait right here. Look at that. Throw some bait. You will be able to capture him a little bit easier, but if you throw a rock, you might get angry, but you do risk it escaping, and look at that. Cut ourselves another Cubone. It's pretty good. No, I, didn't, I don't want to nickname him. I just want him for my collection. That's it. And uh, I'm just going to waste my time right here, you know. See what I can find. If I can find a Chansey, Scyther, Pinsir, I don't know. I already caught you, bro. I already caught you. How many steps do we have? Well, we got 65 steps. Might as well waste them right here, right? Come on. Ah. Ah. The abundance of executes. I hate you all. Come on. Be a man. Oh, come on. I don't need you, Nidorina. Or Nidorin. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. These are all Pokemon that I've seen before. I've already captured off screen. I don't know. Let's try a Rhyhorn. I want to see a Rhyhorn. Come on, Rhyhorn. No. Really? Come on. I cannot believe that. Eh. Yeah, we're just six steps away. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, well, I got my fair share of Pokemon. It's okay. Alright, so, taking care of that business, we have to go back to the uh, Safari Zone Warden because those gold teeth belong to him, and the funny thing about that is that it's a two-for-one thing. You find the HMO3, and you, you actually find the HMO4 as well with the gold teeth. So, going back to that guy right there. So, 
Going back, walking like a like a stud. Look at that, walking like a stud. That's right. Walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. And here we go. Give this. That's right. What's up, warden? It's like the warden popped his teeth back in. Thanks, kid. No one could understand the word I was. I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. We got the HMO4 strength. HMO4 teaches strength. Let's Pokemon move boulders when you're out of, outside of battle. Oh yes, did you find the secret house in the Safari Zone? If you do, you win an HM. I hear it's the rare uh, Surf HM, which I already have. So pretty cool stuff. Very good stuff. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I know the Pokemon that the right Pokemon. For, no, that's the wrong one. I know the right Pokemon for the HMO4 and. Uh, been wanting to give him this for quite some time. I'm gonna give this to Tank. That's right, to Tank. I'm giving it to Tank. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna take out Takedown because I mean I cannot risk a lot, a lot of uh, H HP damage. And then Surf Attack. I can't Surf right now, but you know you could teach Tank with that Thrasher or Hydra. I'm gonna have to sleep on this one. I might, you know what? I'm gonna give it to Thrasher right here because Hydra already has Water type moves. I, 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 I guess I should do that. Um, take out Horn, Horn attack. It's not really much of a good attack anymore. So there we go. It's like a curveball. Now, just to finish it off right here, I'm going to use Strength and move that Boulder. Look at that. And I'm gonna have to get rid of one more move right here. Um, let's see. Can't get a full restore until later. <sighs> okay, let's toss these five. I will be buying them. I just need to get this. Look at that. We found ourselves a rare candy. Very good stuff. So, that's pretty much it for our visit right here in Fuchsia City. We will not be battling the gym leader just yet, guys. The uh, gym leader right here is a very, very tough one. So, we need to level up just a little bit more. So stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. We will be going through the cycling road. So see you guys.